So a new vocab word is congruent segments. So congruent segments are segments that have the same length. So, for example, if I told you that AB was 10 and BC was 10, they would be congruent to each other. And the way that we indicate that on a, a figure is we put a tick mark through the segments that are congruent to each other. We put the same number of tick marks. So I could have used two tick marks, but if I had used two tick marks on AB, I would need to use two tick marks on BC. And you can increase the number of tick marks um, as your figures get more complicated, you might need to do that, but you just want to use the same number of tick marks on the segments that are congruent. And the symbol for congruent is an equal sign with a little squiggle on top. So I would say that segment AB is congruent to segment BC. Notice, my equal sign has a little hat on top of it. My equal sign is wearing a hat my segments are wearing a hat, my equal sign is wearing a hat, then my segments are wearing a hat. So just keep that in mind, congruent means they have the same length. So our example is if S is between R and T, here's R, here's T, here's S, S is in between R and T, and it tells me that RS, segment RS is congruent to segment ST. I'm going to put a tick mark through RS, and I'm going to put a tick mark through ST. They are congruent, so they have the same length. So it tells me in the problem that RS is 4X, and RT, the whole enchilada, is 24. So we have the same thing going over, going on on this one. We have part, we have a part, which is 4x. We have the whole thing, but we don't have the other part. Well, if they're congruent, then they're the same. If RS is 4x, then ST is 4x. So I'm going to set up the same equation that I've set up every time, part plus part equals whole. Part plus part equals whole. So my first part is 4x. My second part is 4x. And my whole enchilada is 24. Part plus part equals whole. They just happen to be the same because they are congruent. 4x plus 4x, combined like terms, gives me 8x. Divide by 8 on both sides, and you get x is 3. And it didn't tell me what to find, so we're going to go with that. x is 3.